Thanks, Matt. Don't forget daylight saving affecting everyone this weekend. It's just an hour of time, but enough to disrupt your internal clock. And joining us now right now to talk a little bit more about healthy sleep is Dr. Teresa Lee, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences at the University of Tennessee. Thank you so much for coming in. You're welcome. I know you've done a lot of research on sleep patterns, so let's first start off with, let's talk about this in, internal clock, the circadian rhythm. What exactly is that in the simplest terms and how do all the time changes really affect that? So the circadian rhythm is an underlying mechanism in our brain that helps us keep time. And it's not reliant on outside information like the sun coming up and down. It's always there telling us when to get up and when to eat. Uh, and without the sun, we actually have a clock that runs a little bit long, about 24.3 hours. And the sunrise and set every day is what synchronizes us to 24. So when we decide to change the time of the of our clocks, we actually have to resynchronize our relationship to the sun. How do we do that in the simplest terms? How do we not feel a little bit out of whack come Sunday and Monday? Well, there's really no way to get around the fact that it takes about two days to recover from an hour shift. So it's like going to Nashville mm -hmm. and staying there. And so it's a little easier in the morning with the fall shift and a little harder in the afternoon. And the best thing to do is to start tonight and by Monday you'll actually be adjusted. I imagine that same advice would apply to our kids who will probably, do kids have a harder time dealing with this than, than we do? At least we understand what's going on. Um, teenagers in particular have a hard time because teens are chronically sleep deprived because their internal clock is already delayed and then they have to get up early to go to school. So yes, um, doing things like making sure they set their sleep time and stick with it, um, avoid eating heavy foods and drinking caffeine for several hours before they go to sleep. If they have a hard time going to sleep at night, and the same for adults, uh, don't take naps. But if you actually have a pretty easy time sleeping at night and you find yourself at the end of the day on Monday feeling sleepy, mm -hmm. take a 15 minute nap before you get in that car and drive home. I would love to take a 15 minute nap if I could. <laughs> Matt's seconding that motion right now. Let's talk about the importance of sleep and especially when it re how it relates to age. Why is it important to get different amounts of sleep at different ages throughout our life? Um, so people often r totally understand that infants, for example, will sleep as much as 16 hours and you look at your grandparents and they're sleeping six and a half or seven mm -hmm. hours. But the truth of the matter is, is we're changing across our entire lifespan and it's related to whether we're growing, uh, how old we are, where our brain is in development and so on. And the thing I like to emphasize is those two extremes we understand. Uh, we tend to ignore the middle. Uh, teenagers need about nine hours of sleep, particularly during the growth spurts. And even people in their 20s and 30s need at least eight hours every night. Important advice. Let's talk about real quickly here the side effects of not getting enough sleep. Not getting enough sleep is very bad. It affects your ability to attend to task, to learn, to remember. It makes all of us, not just teenagers, moody, aggressive, um, and it can have pretty big physiological effects. People put on weight. They're more susceptible to get sick, mm -hmm. cancer, if you do this long term. So sleep, sleep is really important. All right, Dr. Lee, valuable advice for all of us, not just this weekend, but really throughout That's our right. entire lives. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, thank you so very much. Well, imagine not knowing your actual birth date, where you came from, or even your real name. Well, tonight at 10 o'clock,